Got the M340 eyes, like Fresh Cooks likes to say. Top of the morning, top of the morning. Let's go, let's go. Let's get this cold. Wasn't even a cold start. <laughs> As you guys can see, we still have nothing on the dash. Everything is good. But what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And I appreciate you guys for tuning in to another video. And we are about to go to the gym. So I just came home, we changed up, got into like a couple of comfy clothes for the gym. And yeah, that's what we're about to do. I'm actually about to hit the Diki store because I forgot to get my brother's gift. I didn't know what he wanted, but he just told me he wanted some like pro club sweats. So I was like, all right, say less if that's what you want. Also, I do have touch up paint kit that my cousin finally brought to me. I've been waiting on this touch up paint kit for a minute, but we finally got it. And I've been wanting to touch up a lot of rock chips that the car has on the hood and in the front bumper. So we'll probably do that later after the gym. Been hitting the gym every other every day lately. So yesterday I didn't go. Did I? No, I did go yesterday. So yeah, I've been going every day. So keeping up the streak. Keeping up the streak. And I know most of y'all know how it feels. Some days you gotta go to the gym and some days you don't want to. But the days that you don't want to, you have to go because then you will feel 30 times better after you hit the gym and you can be like damn good thing i went to the gym all right so the sweats are acquired you know the pro club sweats i don't know if you guys know but there's some like pro club sweats like cargo pants i don't know if these are even the right ones to be honest but that's why i only got a one i was gonna get them two but i only got a one just in case these aren't even the right ones we could just come back and exchange them or something but yeah <laughs> Either, so that's why I kept slipping off my fingers. So I made it worse. Nor do I have chalk. But it is what it is. She always looks so good when I come outside and look at her. <laughs> she looking good, but she needs a wash. Why well, didn't she look good? Uh huh? Uh huh? You like that, huh? You like that? Uh, I know y'all want to hear how she sounds. Let's open up the valves. Hold up. Wow. I don't know why I decided to do deadlifts, but I did deadlifts. I gotta put the car in the garage because I'm about to do the clear coat thing right now. I have to touch up paint, so as you can see, I got rock chip right there. Rock chip right here. That was gonna be tough because it looks yellow. Yeah, rock chip right there, there. Then I got a lot on the bumper, as you can see. Oh, we hear a lot. Yeah, look at that. So yeah, we'll try to touch up most of it, but we'll we gotta get in the garage first. Ta-da! Parked it in Ford because 
much. It's like kind of windy, so I didn't want like any wind. But I paint, I just don't want the wind throwing leaves or anything like that on this way, so I just decided to put it in forward. But I do need to wipe it off a little bit because it is a little dusty. But yeah, we do that right now. So I have the paints right here. So I have the, this is the clear coat right here, straight from BMW, you feel me? And then the, obviously the base coat, the, the paint, Porto Mayo Blue, you feel me? So shout out to the cousin once again for getting me these, you know, she seen that the car had rock chips when I first bought it. Then she asked me if I wanted to touch a paint and I said, yeah, so finally got them, but Gotta wipe it down first and then we'll do this. Yeah. Damn, the more the more and more I look, I find so many more rocks. Just look at the paint. Well you can't really tell, but it's blue. So right now I kind of got the base coat on, so as you can see it's like right there, I don't know if you guys can see it, like right there, right there, that one's a little tough, don't mind it, and then right there, but obviously this is just the base coat, we still need to add a clear coat on, and then there's a couple spots here too, and over there, so I'm going to try to touch those up too, but mainly those are the ones on the hood. But it do look a little funky, but you know, hopefully once it, like I get a paint correction and everything, it looks way better than that. But this is kind of what I gotta work with right now. Got some rock chips right here. Uh, got a couple over here too. But the paint's pretty good, obviously. It's from BMW, so the color match really well right here, as you can tell on the lip just little pieces i'm gonna eventually want to get this fully repainted the whole front bumper one day but i'll probably repaint that whole thing because i don't like how these holes are here from the dealership so i'll probably get those covered up too once i decide to fully repaint the whole front bumper but as of right now yeah i'm gonna just wait a little bit let it dry out and then i'll come back and apply the clear coat but I also hate that thing. You see how it keeps unlocking and locking every time I get close to it? I hate it. It annoys me. See? Alright, so I just hopped out the shower and I applied a little bit of clear coat right there. So basically all the spots that like needed it, I did it. So right there. A couple spots on the bumper. But you can't really tell, but I mean the clear coat makes a difference because it like gives it that shiny gloss look. But, yeah, I mean, you can't notice it right now because it's obviously dark, but I'll pick it up like tomorrow in the morning when like there's light. And then I'll show you guys how it kind of came out. But obviously, it's just a little Mickey Mouse bullshit right now until I get it paint corrected and like, do it all right and shit. But yeah, right now I'm on my way to go get some raisin canes, so yeah, the boy's hungry. Right, now I get, now I can show you guys because it is like the next day, obviously. But alright, so we I touch that up. I'm gonna see it right there. The only bad one I would say would be this one. I don't know if you see it right there. That's the only one that I would say that looks a little off. But every other one, I mean, the paint's pretty good. Like right here. Let's see if we can get that right there. And then I believe. Yeah, see. Couple spots there. Let's see a couple spots right here. Yeah, other than that, it looks pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie. The touch up paint, like, is obviously from BMW, so it really matched with it. But yeah, I would say the only one that looks a little off would be this one. But yeah, other than that, pretty solid. But like I said, guys, this is just for right now because I don't have, like, obviously, I want to touch up the whole car. Like, I want to do the front bumper, but eventually. Eventually, I want to repaint the whole front bumper. Remember I told you guys? Oh, shit. It's, it's annoying. But, yeah, guys. I mean, it, it looks I. It's not the best, 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 because I didn't have, like, the... 
I forgot that I had like another brush that I could have used, but I totally forgot about it. But it is what it is. And so I can paint that whole front bumper again, and I'll do it. And then obviously the paint correction, hopefully that fixes all that. What do you guys think on it? Does it look funky or it kind of matches pretty well? You guys let me know. If I were you guys, I would stay tuned for the next video because the next video we are gonna be picking up a new car. It's my dad's new car. Remember you guys, if you guys seen that video, where me and my dad were talking about what car he's gonna get, that's gonna be the next video. We will be picking up his new car in the next video. So if you guys wanna stay tuned for that, make sure you guys subscribe and be part of the family. And if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button for your boy. This is gonna be the end of the vlog for today, guys. So this has been your boy, Eddie, and I'm out.